Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a thrift flip video. We're so excited to film this. I'm with my flatmate, Brett, who I also lived with back in the uni days. If some of you have <laughs> been following me for like eight years and also like Disney vlogs and stuff. I'm sure you guys have seen her before, but she's gonna be hunting with me today at the op shop. So I'm actually first going to do a massive returns order from my Glassons try on haul. Thank you guys for your comments because they actually helped me decide what to keep and what to send back. So we're gonna drop this off and then we're gonna head into Browns Bay. Basically, you buy an outfit from the op shop and then you try and flip it, so make it better. So people get jeans and they'll like cut them, distress them, paint them, do cool stuff like that. But some people are so creative, like it's insane. I'll put on screen now the things people do. They completely make a whole two-piece outfit out of like a giant t-shirt. It's crazy. I don't have a sewing machine with me, unfortunately. I actually can sew. I've got like a needle and thread. That's all we're working with today and like scissors and our imaginations. See you with this little number. Cute. Why is this kind of cute? Like a little cardie. Grandma chic. Oh, I love how they've color coordinated the clothes. The small jug. Mm -hmm. How many miniature doll <laughs> It's like my hobby at the moment is to go on Instagram Explore page. These people make them and they're like this big. Like we saw a pan fried salmon. It was like this big. Except there is no doll so house. I buy them, but I don't have a doll house. milk tea because we're obsessed with bubble tea we decided to change semi the plan so i feel like we were just being too critical and being like oh this thing wouldn't work i don't know a lot of the clothes were just so tailored and had heaps of buttons and zips and they would have been really hard to alter without a machine so what we've decided to do is this tag that we've seen on tiktok where people close their eyes and just walk along and then the other person says stop and you just have to pick out like what your hand is on so we're gonna go to save mart right now because they have huge aisles of clothes and we're gonna do that i'm so scared i think we have to make it like for pants if it's not my size like yeah. you have to keep going but yeah the rule is if it's something that would fit me i just have to run with it and try and make cute outfits yeah. out of it so that op shop we just went to now i got some cute little things to help me like little pearls and like buttons and like hook and eyes that i can hand sew which might help but yeah i'm so scared like if i get something super fugly that's just gonna be the end of it so it's from panda restaurant if you guys are ever in Browns Bay. So you can keep it in here when you're drinking. Isn't that clever? And then you can recap it. Wow. Oh, bubble tea. Amazing. <laughs> Alrighty, catch you at Save Mart. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, some yobbos are coming in. Oh, Gucci. Is it? No, not real Gucci. Gosh, I'm overwhelmed. Same. That dress is nice. Katie would look oh, nice yeah, in there. Cute. Lee! I know, but this is designer ladies. We can't afford this aisle. Oh. Oh, sorry. This isn't the footage to use. Don't use this footage. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Stop. Even I can't see. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, how am I gonna make this print look good? That is so hideous. Is it your size? No, it looks way too big. Please be too big so I can pick something else. Small. <gasps> City sheep. Too big. Okay. Close your eyes. Start from there. Stop. Who's that for? A child? I mean, child's weird. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can Sorry, go. Stop. <laughs> you I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't think so either. <laughs> you have to buy that. <laughs> what size is it? Medium. That's your size. Ladies' tops. 
stop. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so. I can't even. I'm trying not to look too. Okay. All right. Well. Well. Okay. <laughs> Shall we do it? Another top. Yeah, like blouses. Yeah, let's do. Let's do these. Go. Stop. Okay. Maybe we can use the crochet bit. Yeah, I was thinking that. We could just do a belt. <laughs> this fabric in the middle is cute. We can make like a handkerchief. Top? top. Okay. Nice. Good thinking, Batman. Like, I think we should select, once we've got quite a few in our hand, we should select a few. And then that's what we'll go home with. <laughs> Not go home with all of it. <laughs> Stop. Turn it around. Is it too small? <laughs> She's saying it's an eight. Oh, yeah, it's too small. Okay, Stop. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> That's pretty. Give me a moment with the silver skin. <laughs> I have to pick. What do you guys think? Some. The panty one. Yeah. So the silver skirt didn't fit, so now we still need to get bottoms. So I'm just gonna quickly get a skirt and then we're gonna head out. Check out. Style these beauties up. Okay, close your eyes. Yeah. Go. Stop. Oh wow. Oh. I get it big. I'm confused, what even is it? It's just a skirt. All right, see you guys when we get home. Okay, so I just got home and changed into my comfy clothes and here we have the bag of Save Mart goodies, shall we say. This will be very time consuming, but I feel like it could pay off and be really cute putting pearls on here. Also, we're in the corner of my lounge. You can see my jigsaw puzzle here, like the corner of it. Kittens in the garden. If you guys watched my previous video, you will know the story behind that jigsaw puzzle, but I've done the edges now. But I thought to jazz this up, what could be cute is to use the pearls I found. I don't know, I'll see how I go. These are great pearls for hand sewing because they actually have a hole in the middle, like they're technically beads. I've got some other buttons and stuff in here too. Give me a pack of two. <laughs> these buttons don't really go, unless I've got these. Honestly, I don't know what compelled me to buy these sleeve buttons with these. I feel like I'm just making more work for myself now. I reckon I'm gonna stick with the pearls idea. I might just lay them on where I think they'll look cute. I mean, just roughly, you know? Oh, okay, maybe this is not a good plan. <laughs> Cause they're just gonna roll everywhere. Oh, this is gonna look cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, great. I might take a photo on my phone just for like a visual. All right, one pearl down. I was worried about sewing through the pocket, but this is actually a fake pocket, like lining, and you can't get in there. So that was fine. Yay! Guys, I'm really tired and I tried to finish it and I cut the wrong piece out. It was gonna be so cute too. A big flip, I know, I've got such a headache. And I was trying to show the camera and it's grabbed the wrong piece and now I just wanna give up. Mm. Coachella. Well, that's what I was gonna do for the red one. Well, you can't anymore. See, cause you could just cut across there now. True. And it could be a very fashionable Actually true, yeah. bandana. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, that could have been way cuter, but I screwed it up. <laughs> Christmas cracker? I'll put it on your ponytail. Because it's actually kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Anyway. When no one's in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The whole conversation is like, <laughs> <laughs> Except you can see me in the reflection. Yeah. Um, I feel like I should... If I was a good YouTuber, I'd show you like cutting these up, but honestly, you've seen enough. We're gonna hack away at these, and then tomorrow, I'll unveil the final look.
looks, get excited. At least two things are cute out of the four. So these two we're like <laughs> uncertain about, but catch you tomorrow. Justin Bieber. <laughs> looks better already. So now we're gonna do a little nip. Woohoo! If we do it more and I put it on, it would make like a collar kind of. Do you think? Yeah, maybe. Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> Ta-da! This is the black skirt underneath. I definitely wouldn't have worn this beforehand. It's not a piece I ever would have picked out. Like the color was too much for me. But I feel like adding the pearl detailing has made it more feminine. I'm actually so proud of myself and I feel like the pearls came out really cute. I was going to do pearls on the back just in case you're wondering, probably no one cares. I remember I used to have this top and it had pearls on the back. And when I'd sit on the plane or something for a long time, it would dig into my back and I was like, ow. So yeah, I just decided to do them on the front. So yeah, that took me probably like a good hour or so to do. This took me like 10 seconds because I just pulled the skirt up into a dress. I probably wear mostly like a jacket over it anyway, but yeah, it's actually pretty cute. Like I don't feel like um, little bandeau tops usually work that well on me, so I need to like, my boobs into it so it fits better there we go i would not have worn either of those pieces fresh off the rack but now i think i'll wear both of them next let's unveil the ugly red top it was so itchy and uncomfortable on the sleeves it was really really bad fabric and it just fit all around badly i love it this is so much cooler than when we initially started with it you can obviously wear it alone but I actually got this red top from the op shop like last week, so it's perfect to put underneath. Britt helped me with this one because I was just kind of lost on what to do with it. She suggested removing the sleeves, which we did, and then we cut down there, and I thought it would be cute to make it like a collar, so I actually sewed these little bits down, just with a tiny bit of white thread. Look at it! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm so excited to wear this! It's actually so cute! and so unique because no one else will have it. I'm so vibing the ABBA look because I just went to my friend's birthday party and it was ABBA themed. I'll put some photos in and it was just so fun. We had like our big hoops in and I put that like spray in my hair that makes it really like voluminous at the top and everyone was dressed up. It was so fun and I've been kind of liking that 70s look. The last one I've made it into a face mask. It still looks cool but like it's not really a top anymore so I try to do something with it. People don't really wear masks like this here. Like this is obviously not a mask you'd wear for COVID. It's more for like Coachella or something so you don't get the dust in your mouth because when I went to Coachella I was actually shocked at how dusty it was. I did not expect that. I thought people just wore those masks for like fashion but turns out it's for a reason. This will probably look better with my hair up actually but i don't have a hair tie so just pretend my hair is up <laughs> and then this would have been cuter as a top but honestly this is still kind of cute right like for a coachella little moment my hair is so silky it's not like staying on my head i was done keratin treatments <laughs> i feel like you need a lot of imagination for this one because i'm in such a like not the right outfit for this or like makeup or anything but you know it's kind of cute i just put this outfit back on because i'm going to meet with a friend and it's so stinking cute i think this one might be my favorite which really surprises me i wasn't expecting to like this one the most let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite also please subscribe if you have not already i would appreciate the support so much if you guys are enjoying these videos and yeah with all that being said I hope you have an amazing rest of your day today and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!